We are inching closer to the start of the final tennis major of the year. The U.S. Open begins on August 28th at the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. But before we get to the tennis matches, U.S. Open Fan Week goes down this week, August 22nd through the 27th. And there's some pretty cool things planned for the fans this year. Let's discuss that with Nicole Cancam, the Managing Director of Marketing at the United States Tennis Association. Nicole, how you doing? Welcome. Glad to have you here. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, glad to have you here. So I'm going to get right into it, Nicole, because I've been around for Fan Week, and it's a really great time. But I understand that this year, you guys are doing a giveaway for the young tennis fans who visit the Open. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, absolutely. So thanks to our longtime partner, Wilson, who has been with us. They're celebrating their 45 years um, as a sponsor of the U.S. Open. They're giving away 10,000 junior rackets throughout the week. So it's amazing. We did a little bit of a giveaway last year, but this year we've upped that quite a bit. So our mission is around getting the USTA. The USTA's mission is around getting rackets in kids' hands, and we're focused on that this year. All you need to do is go to usopen.org slash fan week and register for fan access pass and then you can sign up for when you pick up those rackets on site we'll be giving them out all throughout the week and then quite a few on arthur Ashe kids day which is on saturday that is beautiful Ten thousand rackets given away for the kids they can get that that is absolutely fantastic a really great giveaway so when i talk about fan week nicole my favorite part of Fan Week is easily, it's easily, it's not even close. Flavors of the Open, where fans get to sample a wide variety of food. This is great, folks, that's gonna be available at the Open. So, gotta ask you this, because I'm gonna try to make it there so I can sample some food this year. What flavors <laughs> can fans expect to taste this year at US Open Fan Week? Oh, it's one of my favorites too, actually. And there are lots of flavors. We've got a stellar lineup of chefs this year. We've got some new chefs that are joining the lineup of um, our US Open food program. So Melba Wilson is a new chef. Um, Kwame Onuachi, who you should probably know, has the hottest restaurant in New York City right now with Tatiana. Um, but they're creating a number of different flavors. We also have our traditional um, lobster roll, thanks to Chef Josh Capon. Alex Guarnaschelli will be one of our chefs having um, her signature pasta dish, but it's a host of many different flavors to satisfy um, the discriminating palate. That is Thursday, August 24th um, in the evening. A portion of the proceeds will actually benefit the USTA Foundation, which is serving up tennis and education programs to under-resourced communities. So it's a great event, but also for a great cause. And then there's also great tennis too. So appearing at that that event will be Caroline Wozniacki, the Bryan brothers, James Blake, Monica Puig, and others. It really is going to be a great event, and you can still find tickets available at usopen.org. All right, that is definitely a great event. And look, you excited me even further because I'm a fan of Chef Kwame. Tatiana's is amazing for folks who haven't been there, went there for my birthday. Oh, the food, food, is, food is too Lucky good, Nicole. You. Yeah, I know. It's hard to get in. Hard to get in, but I got to go there. Food is fantastic, so I'm excited for that. All right, what other events, Nicole, can visitors experience at U.S. Open Fan Week this summer? What are some other events that think people should hit up this week? Well, again, you know, Fan Week is completely free. So you can get onto the grounds uh, beginning on this Tuesday for free. The biggest thing is the U.S. Open qualifying tournament. So it's our best kept secret that you may not know about being able to watch the qualifying tournament. Um, you have the potential to see up and comers on their quest to get into the U.S. Open. It's great um, tennis action that you'll see up close and personal. You'll also get to see all the top players practicing. We have featured player practices happening happening throughout um, the throughout the site. Uh, if, again, if you register for Fan Access Pass, that also, in addition to getting you access to those free rackets, it'll get you um, up close and VIP seating for some of those practices. It's a truly festival-like atmosphere, so you get to experience the U.S. Open grounds, and it's all for free. Great for tennis fans, uh, passionate and casual, and great for families, too. All right, great for everybody, which is one of the great things about Fan Week. So my last thing, Nicole, here is why is Fan Week so important to the USDA and how do you see it growing for the fans in the near future? Because I know you guys are always trying to do more and more in terms of fan enjoyment with it, but why, what do you see it going in the future as we go forward? 
Well, again, you know, our mission at the USDA is all about growing the sport of tennis in America and making it look like America. So by creating this week-long um, set of events to make the sport um, even more accessible and make our event more accessible, we're hoping to introduce new fans to the sport and really inspire the next generation of picking up a racket and taking it on because it truly is a lifetime sport and a great sport for health, both physical and mental. There you go. Tennis is such a great sport. We're excited about the U.S. Open, but before we get to those two weeks of tennis, Fan Week starts this week, August 22nd to the 27th. Nicole Kanka, Managing Director of Marketing for the USTA, joining us here. Nicole, thank you so much. We'll have to talk again down the road, and I hope to see you at the U.S. Open. I hope to see you, too. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you.